How long have you worked for him? Uh, I guess like five years, six years. Five years, six years. You've had the opportunity to observe his behavior and to act with him uh, over that period of time, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is your relationship with him purely employer-employee? <clears throat> um, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. We, we, I mean, I am friends with Greg, um, and that's how I know Tim. And then Tim has let me do my comedy celebrity impersonations, Three Stooges. Sounds like you have quite a repertoire there. Okay, so you're an employee, but you're also a, a somewhat of a friend of Mr. Heidecker. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you a question. And this may be a little difficult for you to answer, but I would appreciate your truthful answer to the best of your ability. <clears throat> Were you ever physically abused by Mr. Heidecker? Objection. Overruled. Watch it, Mark. Mr. Your Honor. Heidecker. Yep. Can you speak up? I want to, you were physically abused by Mr. Heidecker. Is that correct? That's correct. Did Mr. Heidecker... Objection. There's no evidence. Overruled. Good luck looking for evidence. You will have the opportunity to cross-examine Mr. Heidecker. Thank you, Your Honor. And I will, Mark. Mr. Heidecker, do not address the witness unless you are directly... I have the right to address him as you I wish. You have the right to address you're, the witness you're asking, I tell you you have the right to address me. the witness, Mr. Heidecker. Approach the bench. No. May I approach the bench? No. Why no. not? May I, I approach to, the bench? I am the judge. I don't have to even give you a reason why you cannot Your Honor, with bench. all due respect, the defendant is turning this court into a kangaroo court. This has already been a kangaroo court. I ask that we mistrial. Mark, this... May I approach the bench, please? No. Please proceed. I'm sorry, Mr. Parkshaw. You said you've been physically abused by Mr. Heidecker, correct? Can you? I didn't hear. Can you? I was abused by him. You were. Were you hit by Mr. Heidecker? Yes. On many occasions? Many occasions. Many occasions. Can you describe the nature of the assault by Mr. Heidecker? Um, <clears throat> he'll bop me and uh, he'll slap me and choke me sometimes. Uh, during the during the Oscar special, he threw stuff at me, and he would he hurt my nose. And I did I did actually do Groucho marks then with a broken nose, which I don't know if he ever had one. Your Honor, at this time, um, the people would like to play a video of Mr. Proksha, which I think will shed some light on the nature of the abuse and violent nature of Mr. Heidecker. Objections? No. Proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. He's throwing stuff at me there. All right.
court apologizes for any inappropriate language that may have been used in that tape. I'll ask the jury to disregard that portion of the tape. Your Honor, we have no more questions of the witness. Any cross-examination? Oh, absolutely. Sit down. Sit down. Excuse me, sir. Mr. Heidecker, I'll take care of this. Please return to the stand. He's entitled to, to cross-examination. Get your shit off this. Pardon my language. You're, Please you do not address other counsel directly. Direct, he left his stuff up direct there. your comments to the bench. Approach Will the, the people? No. Will the people please remove their materials from the podium? Sit down. Mr. Prutch. <clears throat> Do you believe that we uh, create the on cinema Oscar special for in entertainment purposes? Yes or no? Into the mic. Yes. Do you uh, understand that performance is an act of self-expression that occasionally that we perform in ways that create, in other words, when the Three Stooges were doing their comedy, there would be physical interactions and sometimes people get hurt because accidents happen. Y yeah. And I would say that this is an, a prime example of that, don't you? I would say that, don't you? None of the, none of your violence was planned. I will say that. Well, the, the three, three Stooges okay, were Okay, well, so violent. then it was an improvisation. Would you agree with that? I think you got angry and, and you hit me and you threw stuff at me and you would push me. I would reconsider that answer if I were you. Objection. I'm asking the witness. Counsel is threatening. I am not this. threatening. How dare you? I am asking you, use your head. Think about long term. It may have been, it may have, some of it may have been improvised. Thank you. Mark, where were you on MIP approach the witness? Very carefully. Who are you? Your Honor, I have to object. I, I think the physical proximity of the defendant to the witness in the case, in this case, is intimidating yes. the witness. Yes. I'm going okay. to ask the bailiff to please take position besides the, the witness stand. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you, Deputy. Thank you. Where were you on the night of April 14th, the night of the Desert Sun Music Festival? I don't know. You don't know. Wasn't it true that I, in, as, you're, as you are an employee of me for the uh, Six Bag Cinema, that you were instructed by me that day to secure a on-cinema food truck to deliver food to the uh, festival that night? Is that true or false? It's true. That is true. And Mr. Proch, why was there no on cinema uh, six strike that from the record? Why was there no six bag cinemas food truck at the uh, music festival? You just told me to get a truck. I mean, a food and you truck. disobeyed me. No, you didn't give me any money. You didn't tell me where I can find one. And I don't. I I told you I don't have my license because it got expired. Am I supposed to tell you how to step, put one foot in front of the other? Objection argumentative. I'm Sustained. asking how much of my how much of your job am I supposed to do for you? I didn't know how to do it. You told me to get a food truck. I don't know where to You're go an get adult. a food truck. Are you an adult? Yes. Well then you can't figure out how to do something as simple as secure a truck, provide Objection. food for a festival. Is Mr. Counselor Heidecker, is you are arguing with the witness, yes. you are not questioning the witness. I'm getting a the little purpose, frustrated with the, the witness right now, I'm Mr. Getting very Judge. Frustrated with you, Mr. Heidecker. The I purpose of cross examination is to elicit information pertinent to the direct examination, nothing more. Well, let me state for the record that I believe this to be a, a witness, a character witness that is not to be believed or trusted because I would put him in charge as my employee and I have the right to do whatever I want with him. If he, I have the constitutional right to strike him if he dis disobeys me. And right now he's still under my supervision. He still technically works for me. We Your are, Honor, this, wit this, Defendant is intimidating. I am witness. not intimidating. I'll intimidate you. Believe me. 
Mr. Heidecker, Mr. Heidecker, I'm, I'm, I'm warning you that this I is my. I have to hold the defendant in contempt. I fine, hold me in contempt. At stack on another uh, charge to my case. Let me finish my. I'm going, Judge. I promise. I'm Do going you have a case. question to ask as opposed to an accusation to make? The question is this. Sit down. Do not address other counsel. Will you put this court in order and have him sit, I request, or I will re re report this to the uh, bar. Oh, please. Please report this I, to my the question. bar, Mr. Heidecker. I would really enjoy you reporting this Your Honor, to the I move that this is of the highest order. Conduct this interrogate from another room. He's, in he's intimidating the witness. He's witness. got protection he's from the California. Counsel. What are you saying about the California deputies here? That they're inc incapable of protecting a man? This is my right. Then he is under my control. No, if I, he disobeyed me, it's my right. I'll fuck you up, Mark. Believe me. I'll fuck you up. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm out. I'm, I'm too good. I need a. I need five. Hold me in. I need five. I've never seen anything like that. The court apologizes to the jury for that outburst, and the court has no choice at this point but to declare a recess.